Hello, 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 and welcome to Minecraft on the Boozle Box. Uh, this is actually the first time visiting uh, the vanilla Minecraft, the naked Minecraft. Uh, with no fancy mods installed or uh, or anything like that. There's some random bits of stuff down there, I'll show you that in a sec. But this, this is what I want to show you guys. And uh, as you might have uh, guessed, it is a clock or a timepiece of sorts. Um, it is my own construction. Uh, this is actually a countdown timer uh, which I've devised using uh, redstone lamps and um, you can't see but behind here, and I'll show you now, is a whole heap and I mean a whole heap of redstone-y loveliness and pistry... pistry? Pistry, yeah. Pistony stuff uh which is a bit like a bowl of spaghetti that's been tossed up in the air and stuck to the back of a a large clock face thing um right so this is uh this is going to be the next tutorial we're going to be looking at how to build clocks basically i'll go over how you could make uh, a count up timer or a count down timer. You could even use this as just a counter and not actually have a timed element at all. Um, the stuff down here, which uh, I will just show you, uh, this is a, <laughs> this is an experiment that went a little bit wrong because um, I made this thing to start with just to kind of get to the grips. Pistons moving stuff in circles seems easy. Timings are a little bit interesting. Um, but this is actually not the most efficient way of doing it. Um, I then decided to make a, one of these tunnels where the colours kind of spin round and round. Let me just make it day, time set day, lovely single player commands. Well, the in-game ones, not the mod. Um, yeah, so this, this kind of failed. As you can see, there was redstone all along here. Uh, but the pistons decided to destroy that, so it doesn't really work anymore. Although it was very cool. And kind of like um, hypnotic, I suppose, when uh, when it was working. Um, right now, the other stuff. Uh, this is the, as I'm going to call it, the reading head of the, of the clock, um, because you can you can program what the clock displays, and this this reads the program because you have a redstone signal coming in, and then you have something to pick up the redstone signal. But if there's a glass block. Uh, no signal is transmute, transmuted, transmitted, and if there's an iron block, or a, a diamond block, or a gold block, as I've used up there, uh, a signal goes across, and they can then light up the individual segments on the clock face. And this bit over here is just some tinkering around with the actual timing systems. Because obviously, uh, ooh, nice music there. Obviously, this clock is actually timed to approximately a minute each. Obviously, this would show 10 minutes. Uh, I'll go activate it now. There's one button activate, so you could have it anywhere in the world. Just click, have a redstone signal to here. One click, and it all starts moving around. This diamond block, as you can see, starts going around the edge. And that times, you see it still says 10 here, this this diamond block is like a cog, it times for 10 minutes, no, not 10 minutes, it times for a minute. That diamond block, block, I can't talk to them. That diamond block will go, uh, diamond block takes one minute to go round, round thing, there we go, I got it out. Okay, so it's going to take a minute to come around, it's about 30 seconds now, still going. Uh, now when that activates, it's going to cause, if I can get inside this infernal machine, it's going to cause this drum to rotate around. And currently this program states, or the program bar, that the clock face should show naught, which it does. And as you can see, it has changed to nine minutes remaining. Um, obviously it counted that first minute out before it did that, and it will now just keep clicking around and that block will slowly make its way around until 10 minutes up and then it will just go to 99 minutes and so forth but you can uh, we will add a system to stop it at 
at naught minutes. As you can see, this block has now moved. Actually, it didn't move around, and I know why. There's a glass piece missing. So this diamond block is meant to be here, but because for some reason I must have broken a piece of glass, of which I, I love breaking things, um, the block will be here. And this counts for 10 minutes. So every time this diamond block goes around back to the torch under here, it changes the 10 minute one. Uh, so that, yeah, that is what we're going to be doing. That is what we are going to be doing. Brilliant. Right. Uh, the key ingredients for the clock deluxe, or the countdown timer. Uh, there's a lot of key ingredients, actually. But what we're going to do first is we're going to make the clock face itself. Uh, obviously, this is the part that displays the time, just in case you were not aware of this. Uh, I'm going to build it quite close. Oh, that's just gone to... Um, what the frick is that time? <laughs> That's seven minutes that was programmed in wrong. So that's just clicked around to seven minutes there. Um, uh, yeah, so that apparently, if I made this thing right. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, it was seven? No, that's been three minutes because it's a countdown time. It's not a count up time. Okay, so I'm gonna build this one uh, to show you guys uh, this far away because I don't want to be too far away from this one. Um, just in case I forget what I'm doing, um, which is most likely because it's an incredibly complicated build. Um, it has taken me quite a bit of time to get it working. Um, but I know countdown timers are really useful, especially in like adventure maps. So, um, so I thought I would work out how to do it. Uh, I'm also creating an adventure map, just to let you know. Uh, I will be showing you a couple bits and bobs that I'm doing with that. Um, I won't tell you what it's about entirely at the moment, but uh, I will fill you in on what I'm doing and how I'm doing on that as I go along, but this timepiece is going to be featuring in that adventure map. Uh, and therefore, um, I'm showing you how it's built. Right, so we're just starting off with this circle. Um, I'm just going to kind of build it. It starts off with these, I think, seven blocks there, and they're too deep. I build the outer layer first, and then you go along one, up two, a long one, a long one that way, and up one, and then up one again, up one, another one, and then we're back to the two here, like so. And then, because it's a circle, we need it to go all the way around, so we're going to have to add another seven blocks in here. I think that's right. Oops, no, that's not up. Okay, there we go. And that one. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, you didn't see that. Seven. There we go. Seven blocks. So as you can see, we're slowly forming a circle. Uh, if you uh, want to make a bigger circle, you can look up on Wiki the uh, the circle image to make Minecraft circles. Uh, I'll pop that in the description if you uh, if you want to get a quick link to that. If you want to make a bigger clock face. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's finish our circle. I think our circle is 21 blocks. It's an odd number, and it's an odd number for a good reason, because obviously the center of the face is there. So we needed a, uh, a center. Oh, it's on four minutes now. Sorry, I can time how long the uh, the episode is from uh, from the countdown time. So I now know it's been six minutes. Which isn't long enough. Because I don't want to give you guys short episodes. Because that would be boring. And you'd have to wait even longer to see stuff. So uh, let's keep going on this. And try and finish the entire clock face in this episode. I've got to be very careful on saying clock face. Because if I say it too fast, I know it's not going to sound right. <laughs> so... 
that's the two, and then again, the seven along. Three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the two, and for your viewing enjoyment, I'm going to speed up doing the rest of this and adding the back layer as well. So, see you in a minute. And there we go, right, that is the face, well, the circular bit of the face complete. Uh, now we need to find the middle, and to do that, you it's very simple, you just find the uh, the middle block, the bottom part, go all the way up. Oh, if you can place blocks, apparently I can't. Destroy them, not place them. Uh, and then again, find the uh, the middle of these blocks, and then just come together in the middle of the middle, middle, and you'll find that that is the middle. I'm going to just stick a wooden block in there so I know that that's the middle. Uh, you take that out later. It's not really important. It's just so we can center the numbers on the face, or the uh, the bits of um, redstone lamp that are going to make up the numbers. Okay, so as we can see on this face, it's uh, blocks of four redstone lamps. Uh, or lamps, as they're now called, apparently. Well, they are redstone lamps, anyway. Um, four blocks make up uh, each segment of the digital face, as it is. Um, so we'll start with the first segment. And from the center, yeah, just checking I'm doing it right. From the center, you can place, oh, not there, four blocks, like so. And that makes up the first four segments. So we'll do it like this. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated uh, to this design. It means it can be seen for quite a quite a way away, which is good, especially using the black wall, uh, which I'm using here to mark out the center. I'm also going to be covering the rest of the face in it. And yeah, that is right. Um, and yeah, just using that to show up the uh, the lit redstone lamps which it does pretty well zero zero now there is no time left and in just a second you'll see it all click over and it will say nine nine how close is it to doing that yeah it's about 30 seconds away so in 30 seconds that will say nine nine is it done yet no <laughs> I'm impatient. I'm building a uh, a timer and I'm impatient. That's uh, probably not the best thing I should be doing. It's nearly there. I'm going to show you it all go clunk in here. It's quite a interesting thing to see. You'll see all of these pistons go round. And now. And the whole thing kind of comes to life. Lovely. Okay, so let's continue adding these, or finish even, finish adding these as they are kind of important. Only a little bit though, not, not that important. It's not like you want to actually see the time that your ma machine is uh, trying to tell you, it's just sat there screaming it at you, with no way of informing you of what it actually is. Oh well, there we go. Uh, we can take out that middle block now, we don't need that. And we can add all of this black wool in here. Preferably on that back layer only. So let's just add all of this in. Wooly, wooly, wooly. And just put these blocks here, and ah, oh, we're done. Um, yeah, I uh, I might have cut that. <laughs> it got a little boring, and I thought I better fill it all in. Anyway, filled everything in. Just this uh, that one plane, or well, that one load of blocks, uh, to make the clock face there. Um, now we'll start to add the um. I suppose you could call them plugs in the back. 
uh, which is kind of this spaghetti front part. Uh, and that's the bit that uh, activates all of the things to display whatever it needs to display, like this 94, which is currently displaying. Uh, so this is this is quite a simple one to do. Um, if it's a long block, like so, uh, it's just four blocks of iron like that, or whatever material you are using. I'm just double checking I am doing this right. Yeah, four blocks of iron like that, um, or I'm just going to repeat myself now. It's like deja vu, or uh, whatever block you're using. Uh, it could be anything really, bar glass, because you can't put stuff on glass, and I wouldn't really advise using uh, redstone lamps either because that might not work very well. Uh, okay. Uh, now if it's a long or lengthways one, uh, these two blocks to start with on the one second down from the top and the bottom one itself. And let's just add these ones in. Now we're gonna we're gonna mirror everything on both sides. Um, you, you'll see why it's just it's easier when we come to wire it all up later if everything's mirrored because um, it gets a little bit fiddly and that just makes it that little bit more easy and if it's easier it's better no one ever said taking the easy route was was bad well I'm sure someone has in some way or some society somewhere Okay, uh, we're going to need some repeaters. Uh, let's finish off these ones. Uh, now, redstone blobs on top of all of these. Uh, police coming to get me there, if you can hear that. No. Uh, that is the first police car I've heard in a while, though. Which is a good or a bad thing. Okay, so now we place this block... In between the other two, I'm using the redstone's teeny weeny block there to place the block on. Um, just because it's easier than placing other blocks all around like this and then having to destroy them. So, easy way of doing it. Like that. Like that. A little bit trickier to shoot the, uh, the outline block there. Okay, now we want repeaters on all of these blocks. Now what that does is that will actually separate the signal sent by the repeater to both blobs of redstone on top of those blocks. And then the two blobs of redstone, the signal will be sent to both the redstone lamps above and below it. And therefore, creating a nice and simple way to power that strip. Um, and that, yeah, it's just, just a, an easier way of doing it. Now on the uh, on these bits, I'm just checking what I did over there. Yep, that's what I thought I did. Simply a repeater and a redstone blob. The reason it's not two redstone blobs is because it would do that, and that's not what we want it to do. And then some redstone out the back, like so. Ooh, don't want any clicks on the repeaters, otherwise you'll get weird lagging effects more than uh, there is anyway because you do get a little bit of lag between the numbers changing but that is kind of unavoidable well it's probably avoidable I just haven't worked it out yet anyway that is all of the little prongs it kind of looks like a microchip with the little metal bits coming out the back let's plug it in somewhere. I wish it was that simple I could just stick it in the circuit board, but it's not, unfortunately. We have all of this goody goodiness to come. Um, my favourite, I think, is those gold and diamond blocks you can see there. They're, they're like the, the programs. It's kind of like a binary code, uh, as in the glass block is an off, and the gold blocks and the diamond blocks are ons. The diamond blocks just simulate symbolizing symbolizing zero just so we can tell where it is and I'll tell you why there are two zeros on the same oh god on the same coding strip we just come at a time when everything was moving <laughs> that was a little noisy um, right so that's what we're gonna that's what we've well that's what we've done that's what we're gonna do 
Um, and that will be in next episode. So stick around, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.